So as a pagan pastor, I've just been asked by someone fairly high in the land to talk about gayness in America. Of course, when I was in elementary school, I went to a Christian camp and I met my first girlfriend named Gay. She was a beautiful girl and that was actually her name, Gay. In the old days of the world, gay meant happy, joyous, or something along those lines, and I don't really know because I don't look it up anymore because we're not using that vocabulary word the same way. When I'm talking about gayness, we are talking about someone who wishes to have intimate relations and loving relationships with the same sex person, according to us. There are different people along the spectrum is something that the Lord shows us, that there are masculine women, there are feminine men, and they have all types of sexual proclivities and preferences. But when we're talking about gayness, the loving Lord in heaven is the creator of all people. And what I know about incarnation is that people have to go through different conditions to learn lessons of life so that when they go back to the Lord's house in death, that they go in with new education and new training and new struggles and strife are a part of that condition of life. Brian Tracy, the great sales author and trainer of the world, says that Life is basically a series of challenges only interrupted by a crisis. And I love that about his fact-based life, that he speaks the truth. And the truth is just that, that if a person is gay, they're gay. There's nothing you can do about that. If a person is not gay, well, then they're not gay. Then they're considered hexual, sexual, heterosexual, if I can speak, heterosexual, and that's okay. Bisexuals are folks who might be confused. Bisexual folks might be just wanting to check things out on both sides of the spectrum, and eventually they choose. They don't run off all the time and play in both sides in the shadow world because it's just not wise in today, in a day of COVID, in a day of epidemic, in a day of pandemic, in a day of all kinds of trans sexually transmitted diseases because people, especially young men, do not want to clean themselves well in the head and they don't want to do things right like wear a condom. And I'm appalled the fact that even today in the age of now 2020, 2021, that we have young men that think they're not responsible for where they're shooting in life. Now, I can make jokes about this because I'm an old man, and even in my old age, even in the shriveling of a manhood, which happens to every man in the land, that I can tell you that I still was carrying condoms, that sadly some marvelous bastard stole the entire pouch of 30 that I had in there for my girl when she came to be married to me, and let's face it, a man is allowed to do that to keep her from illness, to keep her from disease, to keep her from pregnancy, and all the things that a heavenly father can do in miraculous ways through any man of any age. We have men in their 70s that are fathering children with 20-year-olds something because they got millions of dollars and they can play that way. So let's be clear. It is a part of the regular process of intimacy to protect yourself from disease. Now, I'm probably monkeying myself off topic, but here's the reality. The soul is the soul. If the soul is a feminine soul and has to be, happens to be interested in other feminine souls for intimacy, that's between them. If it's a masculine soul and that masculine soul is interested in other masculine souls for intimacy, that's up to them. It is not my job to be inside their house, inside their bedroom, watching them or paying attention to their loving life. But what I do expect, expect as a part of the human condition is that they don't make it the entire fucking message of their life. You see, in a person who might be considered trans today, at some point that transition occurs and that condition is like less than 10% for them today. It doesn't have anything to do with their sexuality because they could be bisexual, they could be heterosexual, they could be homosexual. But the point what I'm making is you cannot con condemn a person for being a lesbian or being a homosexual or a gay man because you just don't like that concept of life. Because here's what I'm going to say to you. Go take it up with God. Because if God didn't want that condition anymore, God would not produce that condition anymore. And a story for me. My whole attitude about this is that this condition exists in every population of the world, even in animals. I had gerbils that humped each other that were boys, and I thought, okay, I'm in trouble here. And my family and my father was the guy who said, no, it's just a part of condition. And I'm like, okay. You see, we can't say it's not there. We have tribe, we have investigations of tribes in the middle of fucking South Africa that have gay people there. So it is a part of the human condition that the God makes in heaven above. So I don't know why there's so much fucking big hubble about homosexuals, lesbians, and whatnot. But don't you fucking try to label someone because that's not your right. What a person self-labels themselves in their own concept of heterosexuality, homosexuality, or whatever you want to call lesbianism today, which is, to me, the same as homosexuality, just 
across the different spectrum or different plane. That is not your right. That person has a right to choose that for themselves, be indicated from their soul that they need that, and God is in charge of them. If they have no faith because of people like you in the faith community that just want to bash them and shame them and abuse them, shame on you, not shame on me.